you're busy. Who's the next scientist who's going to be free? It's one that needs to upgrade, so it's him. He's actually going there right now. Then we upgrade, then we go to the cluster. We'll do that edict, and it should be all right. This can go. What does this do for them? Still negative 52. They're rivaled on every angle. They're overwhelming right now. There's another faction founded, and that's when it's becoming important to actually take a look at that. Mining conservative. Keep a defensive stand. Yeah, we can look at that. In what kind of stand we currently are at. This will go over time. But looking at the diplomatic stance as expansionist. We are also able to go to this expansion is currently it, it makes us it makes it a lot cheaper but we don't need to I don't want I don't need all of this right now coral will get us you know the operation cost and the upkeep will increase like crazy improved relation is increased insanely border friction will go down Currently, we are having some border friction, I believe. Let's see. Uh, Pajamax Post is gone in 10 years. Border Broken Commercial Pack is gone in 7 years. Bombardment Policy. Our opinion of them. So, they have a other bombardment policy than we have. But apparently, no border friction. And we're not bordering them. We're not bordering anyone but uh, currently the Orion. I should be able to tell if they have border friction. Well, they don't care. What's That's fine. That is fine. Um, plasma weapons can go. Andoria has gone into a research agreement with the Denoblian Union. Good for them. Consumer goods, energy collection, platinum is definitely go going down. Energy needs to go up. We can sell some food. Our presence in the galaxy has not gone by unnoticed. Get some more of that. Just for now. So we have abandoned terraforming equipment. Since the initial settlement of uh, Alpha Centauri, several anomalies in the planet's biosphere have been discovered. The ecosystem is unstable and not developed according to uh, projected models. So we'll get a... Log updated. Updation and what's this? Mysterious moons of Alpha Centauri as well. So we got two more logs updated. Uh, 23 months. 30 months uh, resuming the process. Oh, nice picture. Or dismantling it and then a lot of desert is coming out. Yeah, we'll, we'll get this done in time. We have one envoy. This is actually not being done. This is being done. Then the expands and agricultural. We need to get more unity. Yeah, I wished. Migration treaty proposal. Way to go. And we're getting influence. We can actually start working them if we want to. But currently. <laughs> we lack is um, is an economy to uh, to help us build those ships. We could go with um, with the capacity overload. I kind of don't like to run these anymore uh, because they give me 
an idea that is misplaced. If anything, I want to go for the crew above the energy. Uh, we, we can fix that by just building a district. So currently... Let's go with the weapons, considering there is going to be a fight. That's why we're holding off. This is... Also mining industry. And then we can start closing these guys off. Okay. Association status with the Endo Worlds. Yes, I will take that. I wonder if they will be accepted. I don't know if the Vulcans would. But we'll see how that will go. They have been giving association status. That's good. The Endorers are doing an amazing job. Uh, let the others just explore and expand. You got three jobs remaining. Research that place. This can go. That is being researched. It's good enough. You're going back to upgrade. You... It's actually this one I'm interested in. You. Ten jobs remaining. Upgrade to the cluster. Do the project for a hundred influence. While we keep building up here. Two See how much that costs. 200 crew. It's insanely expensive. Really cool though. And I'm thinking this would build the Annex class. Okay, wait. How long? 653 days. Let us... Transfer the Scout. And a Mercury. Close that off. We need to change this back. Annex class 1, 2, 1. That can go. That would be 10. I am going to do this. It gets a interpreted class destroyer, really. How much to get this one? Let's go to the crew, NX class, 200 crew. I, I, I would be, if I can make a suggestion, I would have the other one. If possible. We can force it. Remove that. Press that. Close this off. NX class being built. Interpret it in there. Colony established. Okay, that colony is now done and we get minerals from job. There is the NX class retrofit already. Forge subsidies and mega... Now, we'll go with the retrofit. This will take 210 days. Can we manage to get this fleet up and running before they go? This one. Jonathan Archer. No, 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 that fleet is not at full strength. Oh, I see what I did. Okay, well, that's, that's no worries, that's no worries. Uh, once that ship is done, we'll transfer them over. Mining stations, insult efficiency, diplomatic weight, uh, naval capacity from soldier jobs. Do we have any soldier jobs? Of course not. So that is not efficient. Diplomatic weight would be interesting. Uh, we'll go for the mining output. Considering it did bring back my energy credits. First contact is paneling. Keep at it. Go. There currently is 500 some odd days. We need to get... Yeah, this one is now completely awkward. It's actually this fleet that has the scout. Oh, I see what's going on. Yeah, I see what's going on. I'm a dum dum. Get Jonathan Archer on there. Get the Admiral over there. 
Wait until that ship is done. Should be done in time. What do we lack? We cannot get more crew out of this. Man, the, 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 the idea of that crew and the components, it, it, it really puts a lot of weight in this mod. I love it. Losing experience. Yeah, we're not gaining enough. We'll, uh, we don't need to work this. The laws will not help us. So I, I'm not even going to invest. Uh, at some point, sure. Not right now. Uh, we should probably build the star bases above our planets. Costs also crew. Everything costs crew. It's so what an important commodity. Produces crew. Okay, so the specialist jobs will produce crew. Uh, luckily, they're almost done. They will be specialists. Instead of... No, I kind of need this to continue. Our presence in the galaxy has not gone by unnoticed. Okay, who is it? I'm thinking this could be the Romulans or the Dallin Union. These guys, they have rivaled, and I'm very sure that that is the, uh, the Romulans. Confirm that. We'll keep going. Survey complete. Accept it. Did I not send you? Two out of three. Ships upgraded. Yeah, there's the Romulan Star Empire. We wish nothing but good fortune for you. Yeah, we know that's a lie. That's done. These are most likely then the, the Dallin Union. Okay, we met all of those. Do you have any other empires you started to get to know before? Us. Are you still rivaling everyone? Okay, you got someone else in there. Uh, let's go trade offer, communication, communication, and confirm that. That was, of course, not accepted. Consumer goods in 10 months. The science ship is done. We uh, did discover these guys. We'll get some more uh, embassies going. Eventually, they will provide us with more unity. You will upgrade. Initiating communications. Uh, it doesn't give me like a tooltip of what it actually is giving to us. Our presence in the galaxy has not gone by unnoticed. They don't even accept my embassy. That's interesting. Initiating communications. This would actually help me with a faction. I think it's this one. Multicultural cultural, four unique species. Uh, legalizing a passive study stance on natural interference will please. Legalizing a passive study stance. Uh, this is professional service. Can we change this so we... Um I like that. I will keep it. Passive studies. We do not allow enlightenment. Mixed economy, artifacts. I'm still thinking about going towards the... Because we're not growing anymore. Uh, this actually is, is all about growth. We'll go to cooperative. Hopefully that will... Um, yeah, these guys are now extremely happy. Once we get a Denobelian, it should be... Okay. Let's take a look at species again. Full citizenship, Andorians. 
a, to a to utopia abundance. Uh, we don't have the migration treaty. We, we have not received any Vulcans so far. Uh, we have no one free. We are actively increasing relations with the Talars. But as long as these rivalries exist, it's not going to happen, okay? Uh, we might as well stop doing that. They are increasing, that's good. Uh, this way we could... We don't have to work this. This, this. this will go up eventually. It's currently at negative 4. And the reason for it is there is just too much going on. These are probably the Dallin Union. So we'll use you to go there. Okay, the Earth's Defense Force got the Annex class. We just do not have enough crew ever to do anything with it. Uh, what we can do is send these guys out, uh, considering we have 347 days remaining to get started with this. Uh, construction ship is over there, which is fine. There is some interesting stuff going all around us. Maybe if we can find some Lefinum? I don't know if that's possible. I also want to start building those star bases, but we don't have the crew. Yeah, it's crew. It's 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 basically the the problem currently is crew, and we 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 will get them. I love that these guys just just make more than they do. Eventually, they will transform it, I guess, into rulers when this is upgraded into a planetary administration. Currently, it's just a crashed ship or so. Planetary headquarters. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, that's rivals. Can we do anything for you? Can we just invite you into the Federation? Oh, not really. Like, they're all stronger than us. They they probably don't have any worries about crew. At least not as much as we do. It's going to be a pain in the ass the spe the, once we form the Federation. My economy will be suffering greatly. This scientist is about to receive its upgrade. And I, I if we don't have anything else to do, we do want to expand the borders. Till where we can get as many planets as possible. The more planets we have, the better, of course. Um, we're going to be sending these guys. Yeah, we're not going to risk it. Research this project. Go there. Special project complete. Who died? The expense. Uh, Captain Jonathan Archer. We're going to be sending him... Uh, well, we'll read this first. Captain Jonathan Archer has been selected to lead the mission into the Delphonic Expanse to gather intelligence on the Zendi. Starfleet has, uh, has judged that only a single vessel can be spared from the mission, with the rest of the fleet needed to guard the United Earth space against future attacks. Captain Jonathan Archer will be boarding... Uh, will... Will brought... Will have brought uh, discretion... In his uh, command authority for the duration of the expedition. Where contact with Earth is expected to be limited. And we also get a command. Uh, we'll give him of course the NX class light cruiser. Meaning these guys can be merged into one fleet again. Securing Earth's position. Uh, we got some encounters going on. Our guys are still busy. All we're waiting for is pop growth. All we're waiting for. Uh, mining outpost is increased once again. Ship firing rate. Yeah, you know, leader lifespan is nice, but... Let's go with ship firing rate. Keep going. Let's take a look over here. Ten more minutes, guys, and I will have to end this. Let's research. I feel like it's, it's definitely rough. 
the, the, you are very limited. Okay, we're now getting plus four on crew. If anything, we do want to make sure that we um, get that crew up nicely. That's gone. Enter the commercial pack. The Endorans are really, really um, active. I like that. That can go. That can go. I don't have an embassy for you, and you can go as well. So, the Expanse. After weeks of uh, fruitless re uh, searching into the Expanse, Captain Jonathan Archer has found its first clue. The owner of a tellurium mining station claims to employ a Zindi laborer and would be willing to arrange the meeting for a price. Once, uh, one of the Zindi workers' fingers is provided as evidence. Like, like we know, we don't know how the Zindi look. And he provides us, this, this is a finger of a Zindi. And we're like, well, sure, we'll take that. Makes no sense. Uh, an, an unfortunate mining accident, apparently, which provoked uh, more questions. The organic residue from the probe has attacked Earth. Okay, so basically we got a genetic marker. Okay, forget what I said. We will buy the guy. Uh, the mining facility admin appears surprised that Captain Jonathan Archer has found. I think they actually break him free, but I just don't particularly remember because I just never liked the series. Uh, but agrees to transfer the Zindi work to the USS uh, after payment is made in full. Uh, a male named Kershek expands his gratitude of being freed from what he determines as a slave laborer. Uh, he, he knows nothing of the attack. Uh, we set course to the Zindi home planet. We need to build up defenses, guys. I just don't have the... Okay, we're now making five crew. So these guys will help. A lot. Can we... Actually, everything produces crew, which is very, very good. Because it feels then that we should probably just continue on... Get one more mining job. And I, I, we need to start boosting that research. We also need to... Get that clerk job going. <sighs> There's nothing I can say that would uh, directly assist, you know? We're not lacking. We don't lack components. We don't lack alloys. Uh, we, of course, we lack uh, consumer goods, but that doesn't matter. Um, well, what we mainly lack is just crew. Now, it seems that every job is producing crew so the larger your empire the more crew you'll get so you have a natural flow i do like that very clever so uh, we've arrived at the coordinates of the zindi home system however no habitable world can be detected instead a enormous asteroid field filled the stars habitable, uh, habitable zone Oof. Using uh, predictive modeling, the Enterprise, let's call it the Enterprise, um, science officers have made, have been able to confirm that the asteroid fields come from a single world between 150 and 200 years ago. Material analysis of the field indicates the presence of an advanced compound that indicates the presence of warp fairing cults. This is so, so hard for me to read this stuff but we'll acknowledge this for now the Delphonic expanse here the zindi is most likely just over here somewhere i'm worried um i'm actually very worried guys that we will most likely have issues with that secondary xenon weapon zindi weapon <sighs> Okay, so you are about to upgrade 251 influence. Anything I can do here. Ships upgraded. Not really. At you over there. Once you're there, we'll do the um, 
the thing. Oh, the Orions have been claiming us. By all means, you can definitely try. Research agreement. Wow, they have a way better research uh, than us. We'll definitely do that. Can we do anything with you then? You're still pissed. No. Let's get you. Slowly gaining stuff. Just doesn't really matter. Well, what we need is pops. Population will save our crew and we can build up that fleet and hopefully it will happen before all of this. So, um, the Enterprise has detected a tolerant distress signal being transmitted from a nearby asteroid field. On inspection, on inspection the vessel is heavily damaged and not responding to hails. Broad, uh, boarding the vessel, Captain John Van Archer leads the away team because the captain leaves the ship, that's important, makes contact with the crew and attempts to uh, victory it pass. We will try that. Oh no. So basically, they are unable to assist. So that means that ship will not help us against the Zindi probe. That's precisely what it just just happens. New weapons. We have to get those on the ships. Let's go with energy weapons. Mnet. Oh yeah, we were looking into weapons actually. Uh, these are better. These are better. Twenty-seven. I think you also have better turrets now. Are the best? No, that that's not okay. Here we go. So that is the NX class. Nothing for you. Mnet will do the same thing. The freedom. I definitely have some better tracking on these. The Mercury. The science ship. Sure. By all means, go for it. Make I make make life more expensive. Nothing wrong with that. Let's get these faces on there. Wrong ones. Interpret it. Interpret. Sorry, not interpret it. There wasn't there a um a retrofit for one of these ships? Okay, there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to be upgrading the fleet, which is not as expensive as it seems. And um, that will bring this uh, this particular stream uh, to an end for today. Uh, not, no, maybe not. Maybe I will continue later today. Um, I'm skipping the night later. It's no use for you guys on YouTube because that, uh, yeah, you will probably not see that. Um... Because by the time this is released, uh, it, it will be over. Uh, we're making five in crew. We will get more in a second. We do want to start filling some of these jobs. I need a bit more admin cap. And we want to get out of this consumer good nightmare. Especially when the Federation... Oh my god, the Federation. It will eventually happen. It, it will. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be a nightmare. 
Oh god, yeah, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be something. Damn, uh, we're getting a bit more food over here, which bring raises the question. Uh, we should probably start getting Earth into these two. Transforming them over. Also, research. Now, actually, I would say two research, three, two, uh, research buildings to offset what we have lacked so far. Earth is going to be... Let's do energy... Research. That's, that's, this is the final thing that we will do. For them, when they have gotten better habitability... I don't know what to do with them yet. Terra Nova, I haven't looked at you whatsoever. Society, minerals. We'll definitely do research here as well. Uh, we need we need some research here. Uh, and we'll go with uh, minerals. Uh, because we have an additional 5%. So it might not, it might not be the best. Uh, so far, no en energy, one, food, minerals. I'd say that's solid. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.